Hi guys. <laughs> My name is Diane. Um, thank you so much for being here. So today we are going to focus on balance, something that a lot of us may or may not be having at the moment, um, both literally and figuratively. Okay, so let's uh, sit down, crossing our legs, bring your right hand to the mat, lift your left hand up towards the right side of the room, stretching as if you're going to touch the wall. Inhale, come all the way back up. Let's do so on the other side. Really making it an active stretch, so not just like passively hanging out, really stretching. Inhale all the way back up, lift your arms all the way to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to the ground, bring your chest toward the ground as well. Good, inhale all the way back up. Come on to your hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide, wrist right above, or right below the shoulders, knees hip distance apart, the tops of your feet on the mat. Now let's inhale for cow, bring the belly down, tailbone up, lifting and opening in the chest. Exhale, curving the spine, bring the chin to the chest, curve the tailbone under. Inhale all the way up, exhale. One last time, inhale up, exhale. Come back to neutral, lift the right hand to reach for the sky, opening the chest, exhale, bring the right arm through the left um, arm and the left knee. Bring your right, um, <laughs> your right cheek to the mat. If you'd like, you can um, lift your left leg and stretch it towards the back of the room. Your foot on the ground. Bring the left knee back, right hand back. And then let's do so on the other side. So lift your arm all the way up. Exhale, bring your left arm through the right side of the body. Thread the needle. You can bring your right um, leg back, flexing the right foot. Bring the right knee back. Use your right arm to lift yourself all the way back up. Okay, and now uh, lift your right foot to the back, flexing the right foot. Okay, bend the right knee. Look over your left shoulder. Take a hold of your um, right foot if you can. If you can't, you can just reach towards it. If you can, just um, push your right foot into your hand. Exhale all the way back down. Lift the left foot all the way back, flexing the left foot. Look over your right shoulder, bend the left knee, take a hold of your foot or reach towards it. Push into your hand. Exhale, bring the right hand back, left knee back. Okay, and now come into plank position. So pressing against the heels, making sure that your belly is engaged. Exhale, coming into downward facing dog. Bending the knees one at a time. And coming into stillness, bring the right leg all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, bring the right foot between the hands. Inhale, your arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to your chest, bring your left elbow to your right knee. Twisting. Inhaling 
all the way back up to center, leaning forward, um, slowly coming off of the left leg, coming into warrior three, flexing the left foot. Inhale all the way up, keeping the um, left leg bent. Bring the left foot, sole of the foot to the right thigh for a tree. Making sure you're standing up nice and tall. Okay, now letting go of that position, take your left foot behind you now and taking a hold of the left foot with the left arm, the left hand. Okay, leaning forward, stretching your right arm towards the front of you, lifting the left leg up, pushing into your left leg. So the same movement that we did on the ground earlier, a second ago. <laughs> and not taking yoga too seriously, so if you fall, it's no big deal. Exhale, coming all the way back down shaking any of that off <laughs> okay inhale your arms all the way up towards the sky exhale palms down the center come all the way back down inhale halfway up flat back exhale palms to the mat right foot and left foot back chaturanga upward facing dog opening the chest keeping the thighs off of the mat if you can. Then um, untucking the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up for three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the left foot between the hands. Inhale, your arms all the way up towards the sky, keeping the bend in the left knee. Exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, all the way back up to neutral. All right, leaning forward, slowly coming off of the right foot into warrior three. Flexing the right foot. Inhale all the way up so that you come back to neutral. Now take the right foot, the right sole of the foot to the left thigh. Opening the right knee up to the side, keeping the palms at the chest. Choosing a drishti, so a focal point in front of you. Not trying to look everywhere or get distracted. Now, um, removing yourself from that position, take your right foot behind you. Grab a hold of your right leg with your right hand. Okay, leaning forward, left hand moves towards the front. Lifting your right foot into your hand for dancer's pose. Inhale, come all the way back up. Shake that off. <laughs> okay, inhale your arms towards the sky once more. Exhale, palms down the center. Palms at the mat now. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, come down, bring the palms to the mat, right foot back, left foot back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, bring the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, exhale, bend the right knee, 
Bring the right foot in between the hands. Left foot comes to a 90 degree angle. Inhale your arms all the way up, warrior one. Straightening the right leg. Um, and then bring yourself to warrior two position. Um, inhale your right arm towards the front until you can't any longer then exhale bring the right arm to the mat left hand up the triangle inhale all the way back up uh, fix your torso towards the front palms um, at the center of your chest. And now uh, come off of your left heel. Now let's come to the front. So bring your left leg to wrap around the right leg. Okay. And then bring the left hand under the right. Wrap yourself around for Garudasana, Eagle Pose. So if, you, if this is difficult for you, you can just have the, um, the arms next to each other but try to wrap your arms around and bend down really squeezing both the connection between your elbows and your knees good inhale all the way back up lifting your arms exhale Come all the way down, forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bring your palms to the mat. Right leg back, left leg back, plank position. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg all the way up for three-legged dog. Bend the left knee, bring the left foot between the left, um, between the hands. Bring the right leg, the right foot to a 90 degree angle. Inhale all the way up for warrior one. Keeping the bend in the left knee. Okay, and coming into warrior two. Straightening the left leg, the left knee. Inhale the left arm all the way forward. And exhale, bring the left hand to the mat. Right hand comes towards the sky, opening the chest towards the side for triangle. Inhaling your arms all the way up to warrior two arms. And then bring your torso towards the front. Um, lean forward and come, bring your right leg over your left, wrap it around. So your right arm is under your left this time. And again, um, squat down. So make sure that the pressure between your elbows and your knees is very active here. Inhale all the way back up, coming into Dasana, lifting your arms all the way up to the sky, exhale, um, squatting down, bending down as if you're sitting in a chair for chair pose. Bring your palms to the chest, bring your left um, elbow to the right, uh, outside of the right knee. Bending down a bit more if you can. Inhale your arms all the way up for chair, normal chair. Exhale, bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Again, um, lowering down if you can.
Inhaling back to chair. Exhaling, Tadasana. Lift your arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, come down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right foot back, left foot back. Chaturanga, upward facing. Downward facing. Now bring your knees towards the mat, sitting down. Face you guys. Okay, so um, spreading your legs um, towards the front, your feet flex, inhale, your arms all the way up, exhale towards your feet. So not trying to round, but really trying to lengthen as far as you can forward. Inhale all the way up. Okay, now uh, bending your knees, your palms facing each other slowly rolling down with control until you're all the way to the mat. Okay, and then on your next inhale, lifting your hips towards the sky, making sure that your legs and your thighs are parallel to each other. Um, crossing your arms beneath your spine, rolling your shoulder, shoulders under. Now ground down on your left leg, lift the right leg all the way up. Your right feet are flexing, really reaching towards the sky. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up, flexing the left foot, really reaching up. Exhale, come all the way down. Um, releasing your hands, bringing them to the sides and exhaling all the way down, back to the mat. Okay, bring your knees to your chest. Um, bringing your arms to either side of you to a T. Now, um, with the same legs that we had before, I'd like you to wrap your right leg over your left leg. And then just slowly start to rock from side to side. And then almost naturally, let yourself fall to the left. with your twisted legs and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to neutral. Untwist your legs. Maybe bring your knees to your chest, giving them a squeeze. And then um, let's do the opposite. So bring your left leg, wrap it over your right leg. And again, just rock back and forth, giving yourself a little massage. Okay, and then slowly letting your legs fall to the right, looking over your left shoulder. So here it's more important for your, um, for your shoulders to, stay removed, to remain on the mat rather than for your feet to have contact with the floor. Inhaling your legs all the way back up, unraveling. Bring your knees into your chest. Bring your um, arms between your legs, grabbing a hold of your feet for happy baby. Keeping the knees bent if you'd like or um, stretching them in whatever positions feel good for you. 
okay? Letting go of the feet, squeezing the knees back into your chest once more. Then bring your right foot all the way back to the end of the mat. Your left foot goes all the way down to the end of the mat as well. Let your feet fall to either side of you. Um, bring your arms to your sides, spread them out. Palms facing the sky. Making sure that your shoulders are meeting the mat. Closing your eyes if you haven't already. Noticing your heart beating against your chest. Today, really paying attention to the way that your breath feels on your upper lip. Notice how cold it is when you inhale and the warmth of it when you exhale, the warmth of your breath. Letting your face relax, so taking away any furrowed eyebrows or any frowns you might have at the moment. Really just trying to relax. Following your breath and making it slow like honey. If you have more time, I encourage you to stay for a few more minutes in Shavasana. But if you would like to move on, start to wiggle the fingers and the toes as if you're just waking up for the first time. On your next inhale, lifting the, the arms behind you Letting them rest on the mat and your feet are stretching towards the opposite side of the room. So you're getting as long as you can. Exhale, bring your knees to your chest, slowly rock from side to side. Letting yourself fall to the right, using your right arm as a pillow. Staying here for a moment. Use your left hand to lift yourself all the way back up to the cross-legged position. Making sure your spine is nice and tall. Um, bringing the palms to face the sky, letting them rest on your knees. how you're feeling. Bring your palms to your chest. Palms together, thumbs at the chest. And now just sending gratitude to all your teachers, not just yoga teachers, but all of the teachers that life gives you. Those in school, those who come as friends, those who come as family members, those who come as co-workers, sending them gratitude, sending gratitude to all your teachers from the past, the present, and the future. <laughs> Namaste.
Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>